Hello everyone. So in a recent video, I uh, talked about how in a previous video, I talked about the difference in skill between stickies and pipes. Um, that is this video. I decided I would uh, actually re-record it because um, I wasn't too pleased with uh, how it came out. I thought it was kind of just bouncing around. Didn't have a point to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, yeah, I'm going to cover it again. And yeah, spoilers, the video is about kind of differences in skill between stickies and pipes. Because um, it's a little more, there's more to it than just one is easier than the other. Um, and a lot of the time, especially at a casual level, uh, people think of stickies as the kind of really easy to use brainless option and pipes as the skilled option. Um, and that's not really the case. So anyway, um, let's let's just hop right into it. I do have some notes to try and guide my thoughts here. So for starters, um, I don't really intend to use the terminology of like skill floors and skill ceilings because I don't think that really accurately encapsulates um, how I feel about it. But if we are talking about just a baseline effectiveness, if you are just bad at holding a mouse and just don't really have good aim or good positioning or good game sense or good whatever, you can still get decent utility out of sticks. Because um, if you just happen to be at the correct range, um, then yeah, you can just left click and right click and they have a pretty big splash radius. So they can be moderately effective as a result at least more effective than pipes would be. So at a baseline level, yeah, stickies are gonna seem way more effective um, than, than pipes might. But that quickly dissolves in my opinion. Um, because once you're actually like adequate at aiming, pipes are a much easier weapon to understand. And if we wanna talk about it in terms of like skill curves, um, there is a bit of a hump to get over in pipes. Just getting used to their arc and being able to, to maximize their effectiveness as a result. Being able to like shoot over things. Um, a lot of really, really new players, when they're using pipes, they tend to like try to aim at the person instead of having their crosshair above the person. So the pipes just like land at the person's feet rather than, you know hitting their model. Sometimes they fall short as a result and just roll into them or whatnot. Um, so it's really, really basic, fundamental stuff to get over um, with regards to pipes that at a baseline level, you are kind of already figured out. And then at that point, like there's minor stuff here and there, um, which we'll talk about in a moment. But by that point, pipes are basically um, figured out. Whereas stickies, um, getting a little bit better, all you really are getting is just like better aim with them um, if we're talking that next like basic level so you haven't drastically changed your efficacy with them necessarily um, they still kind of function as, as a similar weapon um, now that being said one aside I should mention is that the perceived effectivenesses of both or like the perceived skills of both are gonna be a little skewed because pipes are very hit or miss, right? Um, and the fact that they deal a lot of damage means that you really notice when you hit or miss. Um, so as a result, it's very easy to miss pipes. And of course, I have a video on the second channel where I talk about when to use stickies versus pipes. Um, spoiler alert, most of the time it's both. Um, however, in these cases, um, pipes are just inherently less reliable, so it feels like a more skill-intensive option. And you could maybe make the argument that, like, the hyper-skilled player is just going to hit every pipe and get rid of the, the inconsistency issue that the weapon has, and then that's just a skill barrier to get over. I personally think that's kind of unrealistic in the same sense that, like, sure, a uh, soldier or a scout could hypothetically hit every shot or like sniper has quote unquote the highest skill ceiling because you can theoretically never miss like all of this is uh, sure but like it is humans playing the game after all at least most of the time um, 
So I just don't find that a very convincing thing to to say. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's definitely some perceived... Pipes are perceived as harder to use a lot of the time because you can get basic effectiveness out of stickies at a pretty early level, as we talked about. But anyway, um, aside over, let's talk about as you move further up in skill and then get more adept at these weapons. So again, pipes, most of the stuff has already been figured out. You might uh, start to key into like when you'd want to be prioritizing stickies over pipes or, or something like that. But for the most part, uh, pipes have been... I just crash? Oh, you're okay. Uh, for the most part, you know, you're still using pipes basically the same way. You haven't gotten any extra effectiveness out of them outside of just your aim. So basically at this point, your skill or your effectiveness with pipes is kind of just scaling linearly with your aim and your skill in that sense. So again, very like simple and easy weapon to understand. Uh, so, yeah, you might have some stuff figured out, like, you know, you might pipe jump here and there if you're using Iron Bomber or something, but uh, basically, again, it's it's just a very easy weapon to understand. Uh, versus, you're starting to maybe clue into some more stuff with stickies. So, I mean, obviously stickies, there's so many different things you can do with them, whether that be... Um, like sticky sinks or just different ways to use the the weapon as a tool because again stickies are as much a tool as they are a combat weapon and a fantastic one at that. Um, so you're going to clue into a lot of the utility that stickies have and also on top of that some of the more nuanced ways that stickies can be more effective. So as I mentioned earlier with pipes, they are just hit or miss. Of course, you can't have roller chip, but a lot of that can feel just kind of random or like worst case scenario is just like a consolation prize for missing. But in the case of stickies, you can hit, well, you can miss or you can hit at varying degrees. So on a mid fight, for example, just decent long range charge sticky. If your first sticky hits the other demo, then it can do 30 odd damage if uh, you know it's a particularly weak air debt but if you really beam that guy then it can do like close to 60 damage at that range so even just aiming your sticky a little bit better you're already getting more utility and more value out of it um, so even in that case there's definitely a huge aim skill component similar to what you might argue for pipes um, so yeah, anything else in the notes? Or are we just good to riff? Yeah, I think we're just good to riff. So basically, um, if you want to talk in terms of skill curves, the skill curve for pipes are, it, it's a bit smaller. There's less nuance to the weapon. And on top of that, it's earlier. You can figure out most of that stuff just by figuring out kind of the, the range and arc and behavior of the projectile. Versus stickies, there's a lot more at play for you to figure out and a lot more depth to the weapon. So, with that in mind, it shouldn't be too surprising that when it comes to stickies versus pipes in a competitive setting for new players, the one thing that I, I always notice um, for new demos and I even like doing a demo review for someone, I will be able to tell them in advance um, that it's going to be an issue and every single time it is, which is overuse of pipes. Which is kind of contradictory, right? Because if the, the casual perception is that, you know, pipes are the skilled weapon, then why are these players overusing it rather than uh, using stickies? And again, it is just the consistency issue. Um, you want to be using stickies to confirm damage on players when you just really need to, to clean up that kill. This is all stuff I talk about in the, uh, you know, when to use stickies versus pipes thing. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's also a, an element of the fact that pipes are just easier to understand. It's, if you don't really have good practice with stickies, then yeah, you're going to find pipes... I'd say in, is in proportionately the wrong word? 
unproportionately uh, more effective than they should be. Just by virtue of not... Uh, man, Loaf really just made us wait like a minute and a half to set up that... Uh... Was that a speed shot? I think it was just a sink. And then that was pitiful. <laughs> this was not a good pug. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, newer players struggle a lot with having good stickies and being effective with stickies. Even though on the face of it, they seem like the easier option. It seems easier to get consistent damage with stickies. Which, to be clear, it is easier to get more consistent damage with stickies. But there's a skill curve to get over to get that. Um, and the baseline effectiveness of stickies is going to be a lot less than uh, it would be if you actually practiced them and, and got good with them. Uh, so anyway, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Um, yeah, sticky spam is not that real of a thing. <laughs> I guess it is, but uh, you know, you just don't position mid range where the demo can just. M1, M2, and you're totally fine. Uh, so it is largely a positioning thing if the actual baseline brain dead spam is uh, getting to you. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.